So let's talk about more on the transmission and reception of radar. Here is the block diagram of radar system. The block diagram indicates the radar system consists of both the transmitting and receiving system. So here is the block diagram of a radar system and this is the echo pulse. So the transmitting system consists of a transmitter and a pulser. The receiving system consists of, here is the transmitting system, receiving system consists of a receiver and an indicator. In most of the cases, a single antenna is used for both transmission and also reception. And this is achieved with the use of TR switch. It's transmitter, receiver, switch. The switching arrangement is called as duplexer. You can see the switches here like this. It will change. This duplexer is connected to the antenna to the transmitter during transmission and to the receiver during reception. Moreover, the switch isolates the sensitive receiver from the damaging effects of the high power transmitter. The transmitter is essentially a highly, this is the one, it's a high power magnetron oscillator which generates a high power pulses. This transmitter is turned on and off with a periodic pulse from the pulser. Thus the transmitter generates the periodic pulses of very short duration. These short pulses are fed to the antenna which radiates them into the space. The antenna is highly directional. If the transmitted pulses hits any target, a weak echo signal returns to the same antenna. But now the TR switch puts the antenna in contact with the receiver. This echo signal is amplified and demodulated by the super heterodyne receiver. The sensitivity of the receiver is really high. The detected output is sent to the indicator. The indicator is nothing but a cathode ray tube. The CRT displays the original transmitted pulse as well as the detected echo pulse along a horizontal baseline. The synchronizing pulse generated by the timer is supplied to both transmitting and receiving systems. So the indicator records the transmitted pulse as well as the returning pulse simultaneously. The returning echo pulse appears slightly displaced from the transmitter pulse and the displacement is a measure of the range of the target.